Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel, it's Rage Andrea. So in this video it's going to be literally a slayage of revamping a tragic ass wig. This wig is so old, it's from, it's actually a wig that I made using the doula's Indian straight hair. I used their hair a long time ago. This is an old wig, it's four bundles of 28 inch and I did go ahead and use my elite Filipino frontal. But I've had this wig for months now, you guys can see it looks so tragic. The lace is ripping, it's dirty, the hair is dirty, everything about this wig is just tragic. I need to take this elastic band off and redo it. So I'm going to be doing a whole entire video of how I literally take a tragic wig, revamp it and make it look brand new. So I'm going to start by cleaning off the lace using the Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo. It's actually not even really a dry shampoo. It's actually a liquid shampoo, um, but it's still like dry. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not like regular shampoo. It's just like a dry one, but just in a liquid formula. So I'm going to be putting this all over the entire lace wherever I have any of the Got To Be Gel or the spray, or you can just see a lot of makeup caked up on the lace. I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. You'd have to literally mandatorily let that sit for a very long time, probably between five to 10 minutes, depending on how much back buildup is on the lace. I'll also put a little bit on the hairline because this is where I use a lot of my Sebastian Shapers spray so I just put a lot of the dry shampoo on that area as well let that sit for another 10 minutes and just use a paper towel to wipe that off and that will kind of clean off that hairline from the hairspray and it'll be brand new again I'm going to take the elastic band off because it was in the wrong placement number one this wig is very old I believe this wig is like one of the first wigs I was actually experimenting with as far as making it with the machine web and um, it's so old I was not even you know that knowledgeable of putting on the elastic band in the right place and all that stuff so I just took that last band off. I reburnt the end so it can get it a lot firmer. I do have a video where I kind of explain the whole burning the ends of an elastic band and all that stuff in another video. Go ahead and check out my last video where I did my jet black wig and I will explain everything there. Um, so I'm just going to be going ahead and just sewing on the elastic band one more time in the right placements. And now we are good to go. We have our lace cleaned. We have our elastic band in a new placement. And pretty much the only thing that's left with the wig is that um, we have the holes in the lace. The lace is clean. It's nice and refreshed. We even have a new elastic band. So now I'm going to move on to actually styling the lace by plucking it. I do have a video in the same video of the jet black video. I do go ahead and pluck a little bit in there. I also have a dedicated plucking video. I might end up redoing that video because it was not in focus focus the entire time so um, most likely I'm going to be redoing that video because you guys still kind of struggle with plucking the lace I pluck my lace literally in a matter of like 20 minutes even if I don't have it pre-plucked or anything I just move pretty fast now so if you guys want to see like an updated version of how I pluck my lace let me know in the description box down below so I'm just pretty much just revamping everything so I just pluck it a little bit more kind of fix some areas and then I move on to now layering the hair <laughs> Um, like I said, this hair is from the Dula hair. It was four bundles of 28 inches and they're Indian straight um, using my frontal from Berry Stylish and the Elite Filipino texture. It matches a little bit more to the Indian, but the Filipino is a lot more dense and a little bit more strong, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm just going to be going ahead and layering it. I layered the hair. It took me a while, like a while. It took me like at least like 40, 30 to 45 minutes to layer this hair because it was a lot of hair and it was very long. 
long. So I'm actually thinking of doing a video where I teach you guys how to layer the hair. I've been cutting hair for so long that it's just it just comes very natural to me. Um, so I can just literally take a length of hair. It doesn't matter how long it is or how short. I pretty much just eyeball it and just know where to cut, where to shear, and um, really kind of just, you know, make it so it's like a layered effect um, but if you guys want to see a detailed video and like a step-by-step -step and a slow version of how I layer hair let me know down below so literally let me know everything that you guys want to see in the next videos coming up So now I'm gonna move on to doing my stocking cap method. I have not done a stocking cap method in Lord knows how long, you guys. You guys know I cannot stand doing a stocking cap method unless I have to. And in this video, I had to. Um, basically, if you have holes in your lace, a lot of people have like this uh, imagination of laces of what you can and can't do. You can still use a lace even if it has holes in it. You just have to use the stocking cap method. Number one, because you don't want any of your natural hair picking through because you do have holes in the lace now so now you have to finesse it in different type of ways and that is having a base make it look as natural and more realistic of a scalp as possible so a um, stocking cap method is required and a must if you have holes in your lace you can still use a lace just be a lot more gentle when it comes to using it and you'll be exactly fine um yeah you kind of have the risk of having the holes get a lot bigger but like i said just be a lot more gentle when it comes to cleaning up your lace and you know using your legs and putting it on when it comes to combing and stuff um, just be a lot more gentle and you're still able to get a long wear out of wearing your wig I've had this wig for about six months now maybe going on seven and I just changed actually no I did not even change the lace up until this point I was thinking about just um, you know taking off the old lace and just doing a new one but I didn't want to do that I kind of just really wanted to strictly have this video be a revamping type of video so I just let it be um, so now I'm just going ahead and just laying down my stocking cap I do use the RS fix it spray let me tell you guys a tea about this spray so I usually use the gossipy spray when it comes to doing my stocking cap method but I have learned with using the fix it from the RS line the fix it is a lot more neater to work with and it's a lot more cleaner as far as cleaning up number one being um, with the got to be it leaves a residue a residue of like a sticky type of residue and also like a white residue on your forehead if you are my complexion or darker so anyone that is more of like a melanin complexion I recommend that you guys use the RS fix it spray for laying down your baby hair or laying down your stocking cap when it comes to laying down your lace, the Fix It is not as strong of a hold as the Got To Be is. So if you're going to be using the Fix It spray instead of the Got To Be to lay down your lace, I recommend that you guys do what I did in this video and use the Jelly Spray as well as the Fix It spray because the Fix It on itself is not strong enough like how the Got To Be is. So I just want to let you guys know that this is not my first time using the Fix It spray. It's kind of I've been using it for a while now and I bought it with my own money. This is just my personal opinion of how my first impression of what's going on. Um, so yeah. Now I'm going to just move on to just cutting off the stocking cap. This I just use the same method that I do with using my lace. I'm just going to be cutting very closely using a shaver razor and just cutting as close as possible to my hairline. And then I'm just going to be using the fix it spray one more time just to make the stocking cap um, hold a lot more and just lay down as flat as possible. Now when we have everything all laid down 
and as flat as possible I'm going to move on to using some foundation powder I highly recommend that you guys use foundation powder instead of um, liquid foundation just because with the liquid a lot of times these foundations oxidize after a while I've noticed that when I use the um, liquid foundation it makes my stocking cap a lot darker because my foundations a lot of times oxidize so I feel like when I use the foundation powder instead of the liquid the foundation powder just makes a little bit more realistic and as close to my hairline or as close to my complexion as possible and I love to use the Makeup Forever Matte Skin Powder in the color Y525. It does not oxidize, it makes it blend perfectly with my skin tone and it's just highly what I recommend. So I'm gonna move on to putting on the actual wig. You guys can see that the lace is uh, so clean, so nice. Um, I even show you guys what the hairline is looking like. You absolutely see zero holes in the lace. So this is just showing that honestly, even if you have holes in your lace, it does not matter because you can still finesse it and just save some money. A lot of times these laces are expensive. They average from about $100 to $250 per lace, depending on the company, as well as the wigs in general are very expensive. So it's no reason to keep going out and spending money on hair. Just work with what you got, finesse it in different ways, and you're still good to go. You can just save some money and you can still finesse a wig and make it into a completely different one. Um, so now I'm just going to be marking on my hairline where I want my lace to lay and I kind of ended up pulling the wig a lot more further on my hairline because we do have a stocking cap and I want to make sure that the lace is covering the stocking cap at all times so I'm going to move on to using the jelly from the fix it um, I do go ahead and use two layers of the jelly in one layer of the fix it you have to use all these layers with this product because the hold on it is just not as strong as it got to be like I was telling you guys before so you have to use two layers and then one layer of the fix it for to hold as good as the got to be so I'm just going ahead and just doing what I usually do and just laying down my lace um, one more thing I want to tell you guys is when it comes to reapplying my lace you can get the slayage as good as possible and the melt as bomb as possible like I would normally do if I didn't already cut the lace on the wig the only thing about it is no matter if you use the fix it or the got to be gel I really say that you guys to use a gel first to make sure that you have your wig in place and then go ahead and use a spray and actually spray that on your forehead to melt your lace down so um, you get a bit a lot more better hold with that way and it's easier for you to work with the lace because you don't have the excess lace to pull down and hold down and spray the got to be or the fix a spray on and then blow dry it so you have to just manage what you got and this is just the easiest way that I like to do it
So now the wig is all done. I did not use a flat iron or curling iron on his hair at all. This is how long the curls last in his hair. Literally, I've been wearing this wig, like I said, for about seven to eight months now. And every single time, I just literally let it be like this and it just holds the curl. I'll probably curl it once every couple of weeks and the curls will stay and just hold just like this. So this hair is just like seriously low maintenance, you guys. I love this hair so much. Even when I originally used this hair in my ponytail video about like almost a year ago I told you I told you guys in that video that this hair was bomb then and it's still bomb now um so now I'm just going ahead and just fixing and just you know perfecting any type of thing on the lace if I see any lifting if I see any excess lace coming up I'll use small manicure scissors because it's smaller than the regular scissors that I can really get super close to the lace and just make it melt as close as possible and then I will just go ahead with some more fix it spray just spray it down melt it down with a end of a brat tooth comb and just blow dry it just to make sure that the whole lace is like as flawless and melted in the skin as possible and this just is it you guys i'm just literally finessing an old wig just showing you guys different options and like a different type of technique you guys can do um i just want i just felt like this video was just very interesting because i've never done something like this number one and it's just really showing you guys you can save money you don't have to keep going out and buying new hair new wigs honestly you guys just invest in some bomb hair and a bomb frontal and you you will be able to finesse it no matter what period like you don't have to keep going out and buying new stuff saying hair is crap saying hair is this saying hair is that invest in some good bomb quality hair invest in a good quality frontal even if the frontal ends up having holes or anything in it this this frontal's had holes for like the past like three months and i have still yet to change this damn frontal okay like i'm still going strong with this frontal because like i said frontals are expensive even though i do sell hair and i do buy things in bulk for a lesser price it's still expensive at the end of the day I even pay a very expensive price for frontals and I'm a freaking, you know, hair company and I still have to pay my vendors a shit ton of money. All right. So I um, hope you guys just really learned a lot in this video. Um, let me know if you guys like videos like this later on because it's a lot different, but I really like doing this type of video. So I uh, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the support in my last video. You guys have been DMing me such nice messages in my DMs. Just letting me know that you guys really still support me. You guys love me. You love my transparency you love my honesty in that last video because not many people you know express and tell people when they're down and you know when they're they're falling it's nothing wrong with it just expressing when you're having hard times because a lot of people can relate to that because not everyone's perfect and no one has a perfect life um so i just love you guys so much thank you guys so much for just continuously supporting me um you know tell everyone about my channel like comment subscribe let me like let me know in the comment section if you guys like videos like this and and also let me know what you guys want to see next for me. Um, I love you guys always and bye guys.